Secret Agent Stash. Welcome back, agents. Secret Agent Stash here, and we are at GIA headquarters today for a special mission, continuing our tier list ranking here. You know, this is one of those you know, menial jobs that the GIA just throws me and they're like, Stash, you gotta do this paperwork, man. You gotta, here, like, here's all the, we, we've been researching all these games, we know you, we put you out in the field, testing all these things. Now, you gotta just put them in order and rank them. And here, so today, we're gonna bring you a special tier list and we're gonna be ranking Gala-only games today. So only games from Gala Games. Gala Games is one of the top NFT Web3 game you know companies right they do a lot and when it comes to, I, I don't want to say just game developer because they do more than this but like game publisher game companies game platforms right uh, so we're gonna rate 16 gala games today only gala only gala so you know we're rating them from S tier to wrecked someone's going home wrecked today guys someone's got it's gonna happen it's gonna happen so uh, I don't know if you're a gala fan or not but this is going to be uh, this is going to be interesting because we have some new additions here to Gala, and uh, I'm I'm not going to say they're my faves. So make sure you guys stick around to the end to see the ratings here. I want to also hear uh, what you guys think in the comments below. So tell me if you guys think that I botched on a rating or not. But let's dive into it today and get rating here on these Gala games. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so here we go. 16 different Gala games. We're gonna take a quick look at each one too, so don't worry. So if you don't know some of these games, we're gonna take a quick, quick gander at them. Uh, we're, we're gonna kind of just start here uh, in random order. We're not gonna go like down the list or anything. We're gonna start in random order. And we're actually gonna start with Spider Tanks. So Spider Tanks is one of the first playable games from Gala Games, that's why we're starting there. And it's really been leading the way. Now, where do I rank it? If you guys don't know Spider Tanks, let's go check it out. We're here at the Gala Games website. So it's basically a MOBA game, right? They call it a PvP Brawler, but you get to customize your, your tanks here. They can be anything on the, uh, 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 you know, as far as design goes, but you got gun basically on top, weapon on top, and uh, body with your, your movement styles on bottom. And it's actually a lot of fun. Now I will say though, when it comes to ranking spider tanks, uh, you know, one of the things that has been a drawback is the fact that they really, they, they sold these tanks for a lot of money. Some of these tanks for a lot of money. And the legendary, like, top tier, like, kind of tanks, they, uh, um, you know, or ancient tier tanks, they're very expensive. And it, it's kind of cost prohibitive. They have kind of rectified that recently, you know? So, like, when I look at this, th them as a game here on the, the list of games, I, I mean, I want to give them an A tier. But I, I just can't. They, they're gonna have. They're, they're going in B tier for me. I think still a solid effort, you know, especially for like a first offering here from Gala. Really good, solid first offering, uh, outside of Town Star, which we'll talk about Town Star. <laughs> like a Town Star, come on. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah. So that's Spider Tanks. That's Spider Tanks. Uh, let's take a look at. Uh, let me see. Let, what, what do we got next? Let's take a look at. Um, Eternal Paradox. The Eternal Paradox. Let's see here. Uh, Eternal Paradox. So th this is a they call it a four x four, a four x, a four x turn based RPG, which means explore, exploit, expand, and exterminate. We know all about that objective based termination of our subjects here at the GIA. That's how we do it. Uh, I have not played. This is one of the ones I have not played. I, I, you know, this seems interesting. It definitely seems like it is focused for mobile, which I like. You know, I know that uh, Gala is very much focused on the mobile thing, and it being a kind of turn-based style RPG combat, it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty cool. You know, um, if this is what we're seeing right here with the kind of combat, I mean, I don't know how turn-based it's going to be, but you can kind of see here's the turns and how people are going to go fight, and and then you, there's definitely another mode where you're like sending armies off to go do things as well. So pretty interesting. Like I said, I, I you know I, I don't know that uh, you know Eternal Paradox is really my style of game, but I'm actually gonna give it I'm gonna give it a C. I'm gonna give it a C just based upon you know what we know about Eternal Paradox right now or what I know about Eternal Paradox, right? 
All right, moving on. Let's see. Uh, we're going to go and do Town Star. What do you guys think? I mean, Town Star is one of those games where, you know, it, they it really kind of kicked off or, or, or like put a stamp on what Gala Games is all about. Town Star, right? And uh, and so, you know, a lot of people know Gala and they, if they know Gala, they know Town Star, right? But Gala is really kind of moving away and pivoting away from just, oh, you know, we're the Town Star people, right? But I think that they did make an early mistake with Townstar and yeah, and it had to kind of pedal backpedal on that mistake big time, right? In a really big way. So that means saying basically we're getting rid of the, the coin that, that we made for this game and now it's going to be Gala and we're going to revamp the entire game and redo the entire economy because it was bust. Townstar did not make it, guys. It just did not make it. Will it be able to come back from this? I mean, there's a lot of people who like Townstar. But I mean, honestly, it's in the wreck category for me. I gotta go wrecked. Town Star is wrecked. That's just how I feel. I don't think they're gonna come back. To be perfectly honest, I think it's gonna be a, a game that sees some adoption, but not much. Not right now. Uh, and until they get maybe into a mobile market where people are really liking it and they don't have the same stigma, they can find a new kind of you know cross pollination from some of their other mobile games. But really, all, all of us in the crypto world remember, we know what happened to Town Coin. We know what happened to the nodes. Uh, all right. Let's move on here. Let's move on and do Grit. So Grit is one of those games that, you know, is still in early access development. They play every Thursday. It's a Western style battle royale, which I actually really love. I really love. I think Grit has the potential to be a really great game. And, you know, if we look at Grit here real quick, you guys can kind of see the vibe of, uh, of what uh, Grit looks like. But, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I, I enjoy the game. They do need to make some improvements, and I think that that'll come here over time. When you look at, like, what Fortnite looked like in the beginning and how, how things work, I mean, yeah, they, they can definitely catch up on some of the graphics, but... Uh, the gameplay and things like that have been a little clunky and I feel like they haven't really been developing much They haven't been developing much. I, I'm gonna put them on the same tier as spider tanks here and give them a B. So I'm, I'm going grit B And I think they could be an A or, or maybe possibly at some point an S tier game, but they do have some development room to go Okay up next we have Battlestar Galactica Battlestar Galactica. Where are we going to rank this? This is a game that they just recently announced that I think that they're, they're going to be mobile focused. And so I think that's a, a pretty cool play here. A Battlestar Galactica is a pretty big brand. When you talk about brands, I mean, Gala has done pretty well. They have a good mix of like brand new IPs with things like Last Expedition and Legends Reborn and Echoes of Empires, Champions Arena, things like that. And then, you know, legendary IPs like The Walking Dead and Battlestar Galactica. So, you know, this is one of those, those you know, I wouldn't say like reboots, but it just, it kind of continues the whole, uh, you know, the whole Battlestar Galactica universe here with a game that is going to be like an MMO kind of strategy game that's, that takes place after the fall. And so it looks like it's going to be pretty good. We'll see how they kind of make this move over to mobile because, you know, they were kind of saying this is going to be a, a PC Max uh, kind of game. But I do believe that they, they said that this is going to be a mobile title. So uh, if I'm wrong there, I, I, I'm i pretty sure. I, I swear I saw this dang news here somewhere. We'll have to look for it here. Uh, but yeah, Battlestar Galactica. I think that this could be big, man. I think whether it goes mobile or not, I think this could be a really big game for Gala. We don't have a lot of details right now. We don't have a lot of details right now. Uh, so I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and put this at C. Because, and, you know, the thing reason why, too, is that, like, all these other games are in development as well. We have barely seen anything from the Battlestar Galactica Eternity team. BSG Eternity, you guys got to step it up, man. We got to get some screenshots. We got to get some leaks. That's what we're looking for. For right now, I'm setting them at C tier. Looks good. Ne needs a little bit more here. We need to really know what's going on with this game. And it can probably rank up here. I, I you know, Once we have some stuff, I could see it being a B or, or A tier game. B or A tier game. How about Superior? Superior is one of my fave games actually on on Gala. And so when you talk about like, you know, where, where does it rank? Is it going to be B, A, S? If it's one of my faves, it's got to be in that range, right? Got to be in that range. 
Uh, but Superior is a rogue light game, and we play this quite a few times on the on the on the live streams here. You guys have been watching here the GIA playing uh, Superior, but uh, it's a co light. It, it, it's a co op rogue light game, and you know they've done a really good job with continuing to make updates to Superior. Now I do feel like there's still something a little missing with the game modes. Maybe there's an, another game mode or something that's going to make sense. But man, they've done such a great job with building out their universe and the look of the of the game and the feel and the lore. Like su like super great job on this. I think out of every game here, they've done the best job of that. Like this is iconic to me. Like it really it really to me looks great. And I don't know what is missing from Superior to like make it that killer game. But it, it you know it it's it's out there and i think that they're going to find it you know because the devs have been iterating pretty quickly adding new content adding new bosses to the game so we have more things to play more stuff to play with right uh so where do we rank superior i gotta go uh a i gotta go a tier with superior and it's very close to being an s tier here i love superior but like i said i, th I still feel like there's one little element missing I can't put my little my little stash on it. I'm just like, ah, I don't know. But there's something. So we'll, we'll see, but a, a, a superior A tier. Okay, up next, let's do Last Expedition. This is a game that I just played on stream with another play test here. They're porting it over from UE4 to UE5. Things are still a little bit rough, but man, Last Expedition, the gameplay, even with it being this rough, is excellent it is excellent and so last expedition is basically an extraction shooter and they call it a survival fps it's pvpve so you're fighting against the environment which are a bunch of a bunch of like crazy rabid creatures you know alien style creatures and also you're fighting against three other teams of four so you have a team of four and your team fights against the three others uh so much fun even in the state they're in right now, with with the with what they have, I mean, this game is an immense amount of fun. Everybody in chat even today was saying how fun this was. Everyone couldn't wait to wait to play again. Everyone's just having a really great time. And I mean, we're we're, we're still in, in in like an alpha state here, you know, a closed alpha state. So, Last Expedition to me represents the top tier of Gala. If you you know if you go watch my stream for Last Expedition, this is it, it, it very clear. You will see how incredibly clear it is that Last Expedition is going to be a winner, guys. This is going to be a winner here. Uh, so, but where do we rank it? Where do we rank Last Expedition by Gala Games? I gotta go S tier. It's going all the way. Some of them had to go S tier. I, I really want to try and reserve that for the best of the best. And Last Expedition is S tier material for me. Great game, and I think it really has a, a you know a potential to go mainstream. Let's talk a little bit about Legacy. This is a game that I'm not too fond of. It's kind of like a simulator game. We can go take a look at it here if you guys want to see Legacy. Um, here we go. But like it's like a business sim and you know to me it reminds me a lot of Townstar in kind of a way. So to, you know uh, not a lot of appeal here to me. I don't see, uh, you know, I don't know that this has enough creativity to it. It's just about growing and developing your own business through the power of creativity. Like it doesn't really, there's no unique spin for this game for me. But it really doesn't, it doesn't uh, do it for me. I don't think this is going to be a successful game. I'm going D tier, Legacy D tier. Sorry, Legacy. Moving on, Echoes of Empire. Echoes of Empire. Uh, this is another game too that I I, I think that is going to be mobile focus as well. Let's go check out Echoes of Empire real quick. Uh, so they say uh, no, they say PC Mac. Uh, so this is a it is a strategy based turn based game, which is sci fi focus and actually looks kind of cool. A little bit different, right, than what you normally see. But you get to see kind of combat here with ships and then you you how you kind of uh, go about controlling the universe, right, and different quadrants for your squad of ships. You can see the squad of ships here out on patrol. And you can even do things like, you know, go solo or, or join with big massive guilds, which could be a big advantage for something like this. But basically, you know, you know, trying to, you know, muster up all of your resources and then go out there and kind of conquer, right? 
and obviously in-game assets. So I think Echo of Empire is, is actually, it seems like it could be interesting, a little bit different. I could also see this going mobile at some point. They say it's going to be PC Mac, but I, I could see it going mobile at some point too. I, I think I'm going to give Echoes of Empire a C. I could go C with Echoes of Empire. I think that there's potential there, but I, mobile may really be where they shine with something like this. Because the game loop seems a little bit straightforward, and I think that works maybe a little bit better for mobile. Okay, up next, Mirandis, a big one. This is one of the flagship titles from Gala Games. Mirandis, the big MMORPG that is coming from their in-house development team. Now, when I talk about early mistakes, we talk about Townstar, and I feel like Mirandis is, is close to that same level where they committed to making this game, didn't really know what they were doing, got themselves in a little bit farther than they should have, and then we're like, oh gosh, what do we do? But really, not, not necessarily, oh gosh, what do we do? But like, hey, oh, we're really finding our stride being a publisher, right? Being a publisher of games um, and being a games platform versus being a game developer, like developing the actual games. So I, I think that that to me, you know, is one of those things like, so, you know, it, 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 it's a negative in my category just because like the way that that was handled and I think that you know Maybe they they should have thought this through a little bit more But Mirandis is, is definitely an ambitious an ambitious title So, you know trying to create a, an epic fantasy RPG Where you have all these tokenized assets that are NFTs and there's tons of them right all the buildings everything for towns Are gonna be assets you can see a ton of them here uh, the firebrand stallion did not do so well when it comes down to uh, the, the how it was received. But there's a lot of things that are still not sold out. But there are a lot of things that did sell out as well. So you can see here some, some exemplars and some other things. But there's a lot of things, as you can see, that did sell out. Mostly the early deeds. Farming Hamlets, Citadels, things like that. Uh, I actually own a, um, I own a uh, temple. I own a temple. A, uh, I think it's a small temple. Yeah, no, it's just a regular temple, not large temple, not majestic, not grand, just a regular old temple. Uh, so yeah, so I mean, you know, Mirandis, is it gonna make it? Are they gonna, are they really gonna be able to deliver? I think that they'll have something. I'm really skeptical on the on whether it's going to be the full sprawling scope that they've kind of talked about. But I, I am hopeful, and I do feel like what we've seen so far here recently has been, you know, pretty, you know, it, it, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. I'm gonna give Mirandis a B. They're not getting higher for me yet until we see a really good solid play test with some good MMO features. And I think thus far we really just haven't seen that. I know we are, are we, we've done some recent stuff, but we need a velocity of players. That's what we really need to see to make this work. Right, a couple people on a play test that own some high-end assets is not gonna do it for me. All right, let's get into a little bit of the new mobile goodness that was just added to the, the portfolio. We're gonna, we're gonna go one, two, three right here. We're going to start off with the, with the games that were coming from Ember Entertainment, which, which is a new acquisition by Gala Games for their mobile division. And that came along with three games. Well, one that they were already working on with, with Ember, but two games that were not. Uh, and that is Meow Match, right here, Meow Match, and Dragon Strike. Dragon Strike. So these are two different mobile games. Let's go take a look at, at uh, Dragon Strike. This is a puzzle RPG game. And calling it a puzzle RPG game is a bit of a stretch. Uh, it's basically a, a match three game, a gym match three game where you kind of have like some some added on little elements of, of you know, kind of RPG things here, right? Uh, where you have some uh, PvP combat you can do and, and you, you're kind of collecting epic heroes, but in essence, it's a match three game and it really doesn't excite me at all. It really doesn't excite me at all. I mean, th this is something I can see some people playing. And it does seem to have like decent reviews, right? Uh, 4.8 stars with 12K reviews and half a million downloads. That's pretty significant. But uh, what are we gonna rank it here? I gotta give Dragon Strike a D. It's just a, a, not a very creative game. I don't like the game in general, this style of game. I, I, I don't know if this is gonna be like a shining cap in Gallo's portfolio. I don't think it will be. I don't think it will be. All right, moving on. Meow Match. We're gonna just, like I said, we're gonna go right down, down, down the, down the line here. We're just gonna go down the line. Meow Match is a, another kind of, you know, 
it's a collection style game, but also it's really a match three game. So you're like collecting these kitties, but playing this match three game to get like boosters and do other things and like, so it, it has some similar elements, but it is more collectible. And I think this is something that I could see more people playing. Right now there's a million plus downloads of this game. A million plus downloads of this Meow Match game. So this is gonna have NFTs in it. Uh, they're gonna add them to the game. Same thing they're doing with Dragon Strike, adding NFTs. Uh, so I, you know, I'm gonna give Meow Match a, 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 actually a C. Not my style of game, but I'm going C for Meow Match. It, it, I think that because it has a good reach already with about a million people playing it, that there is good potential there. So it, it, it could be something that could help Gala here, uh, you know, really establish itself in the mobile world. But in general, definitely not my style of game. Not loving it. Putting it on C is really a stretch. I mean, it really should be like a C minus. <laughs> it should be like a C minus, guys. Uh, all right, hit, hitting it here with the rest of the kind of uh, ones we got. Let's, it, look, the Walking Dead Empires. Let's go. Walking Dead Empires. You guys know this is a game from, uh, you know, the same Ember Entertainment that they were already working on. And looks good. We played on the stream. Game is fun. You know, it has a lot of great elements to it. Multiplayer, co-op. They got guilds in now. There's a lot more crafting elements. There's a lot more to do in the game. Now they do need some more modes and some more things going on and to, you know, but the core game loop is really solid. And I think this could be a great mobile game as well. I am going to go B tier with this. No, you know what? We're going A, we're going A tier with Walking Dead. I really think the Walking Dead is going to be one of their flagship mobile games. It really has the potential to, to go the distance. I'm going A tier. I, I wanted to go B, but I was like, no, you know what? It really has A tier potential. And, and we're going A tier Walking Dead. All right, round it out with a couple that are kind of the same. Uh, not the same, but have some similar feel to them. But uh, Legends uh, Reborn is a game that uh, you know has a similar feel to uh, to their other game that is uh, is Champions Arena. But Legends Reborn, you know, is a what they call a, that's like a card strategy game. But the cool thing about this is that they actually come to life. They, the cards pop up and, and pop out and come to life, which I think is pretty cool. So when you're playing, you're throwing your deck down and you're actually you're actually fighting with these characters on the, on, the, on each side here. Now this is one of the games that I haven't played. I think that there's potential. I think this is kind of cool. I like the whole like using cards and throwing monsters down. I think there's a lot of potential there. We like wild card that is something similar to that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give Legends Reborn a B. I think Legends Reborn can be uh, pretty cool. Uh, moving right along though, Champions Arena, which I, like I said, has a little bit of a similar vibe. I mean, not really exactly similar. This is a turn-based RPG, but has some similar feel to like with, you know, you have your characters. You're selecting them, your team, and you're fighting against the other one, you know. Th th but this one also looks pretty good and could go the distance. You know, ha has a little bit of a unique element to it. I'm also going to go B with Champions Arena. I'm going to go B with Champions Arena. All right, rounding out our Gala Games tier list here is Fortitude. Fortitude is a mobile-focused, if I'm not mistaken here, where's Fortitude? Here it is. It says PC, but once again, man, I really think this is one of those games that needs to be mobile focused. But it's, it's a, a, a tower defense game. Not really my style of game, man. And I think that they've kind of had problems with getting this game off of the ground. Now, that may be because they're trying to, to, to kind of port over to mobile. But they definitely didn't sell out a lot of their assets for this game. And I think that, you know, so far, Fortitude has been kind of a bust, in my opinion. I don't know if we're really going to see a big effort from this game, and when we do, is it really going to do much? I gotta go wrecked with Fortitude. I don't like. I, I really don't know that this game is going to make it. I think that it's there's nothing special about it as even a tower defense game, and I would put it right there with Townstar, which has the same kind of qualities. Where there's nothing special about Townstar, even if they try and bring it back after everything that's happened to it, still going to be wrecked. So there we go. This is our this is the tier list here for Gala Games tier list. Last Expedition takes the cake with Superior and The Walking Dead being some of my favorites. Really like what Spider Tanks, Grit, Mirandas are doing. I think Legends Reborn and Champions Arena both have a really good shot. Mirandas has a good shot, I think, to make it there. I I'm hopeful. Uh, Eternal Paradox, Battlestar Galactica, Echoes of Empire, Meow Match uh, on C tier. You know, th th there, there could be something there. There could be something there if they can really capture a mobile market. D. Not looking so good, Legacy or, or Dragon Strike, and then Totally Wreck, Townstar, and Fortify. Let's go. 
Well, there you go, Ages. We ranked every Gala game that is available that you guys can go check out today. Many of these are actually playable right now. Go and check some of my streams of playing Last Expedition, Superior, Walking Dead, Spider Tanks, Grit, and, uh, you know, uh, and you know, so we, if you really want to look back in the day, Townstar. <laughs> but it's been a while. Uh, that's all we have for today, Agents. As always, this briefing never happened. Secret Agent Stash, over and out. Secret Agent Stash. Secret Agent Stash.